Hi everybody, Dizzy Nails and Beauty here with a haul from Glitter Planet. Not actually ordered from these for quite a while, but they've actually got an offer on right now with 15% off because they're going away on holiday. I felt lucky, put my order in before they've actually gone to holiday and it came within two days. Also, before I open this package, um, I want to show you else what else I decided to do. So I've got this huge box of these vials I've bought off eBay, which I'll link down below. I just feel like they're going to set off the glitters, planet um, glitters off so much nicer for displaying purposes. So this is quite a big haul, so don't if you want to go and get yourself a cup of tea um, and pause it because there's going to be a lot of glitter goodness here. So just open it up. Oh, and they've actually got an envelope within an envelope. I absolutely love the Glitter, pa glitter Planet packaging and it's can save this envelope now because it hasn't actually got my address on it so it's even better cannot be a bit of holographic she says she can't even get it open right not going to save the envelope I'm going to have to cut it unfortunately it's a tough envelope that's asserted I'm just going to pop those out. It's all empty. My invoice. A nice little um, note from Glitter Planet that comes with most of their parcels. And here we've got the Bejeweled Micro Stats Shards. I didn't actually know this came in a pot, but I'm still going to decant them into my other pot just so that they all match. Plus, I think I'm going to use those pots for all my other miscellaneous glitters uh, so they all look like as if they come from the same place. So, let's get bag number one open. Shining light, so it's the same as this. This is just normal, there is this one with chunky version.
on them, like dimples in them, they are gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic for Christmas. So what I'll do guys is I'm just going to put one of these baggies into here to show you what they look like. So I'm just getting a little trusted funnel. Um, which one should we go? I'm going to go with Aquaman. This is what it looks like guys. How pretty does it look? Much much more presentable than in the bag. I did actually have them in pot white. This is how I normally store them. But I just feel this is gonna be so much better and look so much nicer. I'm not too fussed that it doesn't fill it up. And there'll be some, especially with the fine cutters, it's not even gonna be as filled as this, but I'm not bothered because it's going to look so much nicer to look at, more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to do all the rest of them guys and, uh, and I'll show you a little video of them all done and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, give me, leave me a comment down below and even more fantastic if you could subscribe to my channel and i shall see you soon and thank you again once again for watching really appreciate it hope you managed to get to the end and hopefully you'll go and get the uh, 15 percent off while it's on so thanks again guys and see you soon bye
Well guys, I've managed to do it all. It actually took me a bit longer than I anticipated and I ended up with a few extra jars left over so I've managed to do some of my older glitters in here. I've still got a few more to go but I'm waiting on some more jars to come. So I was wondering what you all think. Do you think this looks much better? And now I've just got the task of sorting it all, organising in colour um, and then getting them all up on my shelving unit. So I hope you like this guys.